I assume that if I do this, it's gonna... Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna start up the game of the original receiver. Oh no. We need to get 11 tapes. Okay, there's no way in hell that this isn't a challenge we're supposed to complete. back this time with actual real live audio for some reason and i have to emphasize some reason the last episode hit something in youtube analytics and it got just this huge spike in views so if you are coming back uh from after having watched that episode or if the algorithm is for whatever reason throwing this episode at you uh please keep watching uh, see if you enjoy it uh if you haven't played this game uh it is a a roguelike uh, that is, oh, we must be in the compound. Yep. Uh, it's a roguelike that is, uh, very, that is, it, it, it's very realistic in terms of its gun mechanics. It puts a lot of emphasis on your gun mechanics. Um, every single action that you would take with a gun, um, uh, is, like, bound to, to keys. So you have to do things... Uh, I would say efficiently, but more it, it's more more accurate to say um, with a thought process. Like, you don't just hit R and reload in this game. So, great example is, of course, a revolver. Now, some revolvers, of course, have very fun um, cylinders that you can pop them all the way out. Um, and you put in uh, your... I don't actually know the real term for it, because I uh, don't it but basically you, you flop it all the way out like this and you have basically the bullets already in a cylinder that fits perfectly and you just boop, pop it in uh and then close it um but that's not how this one works you have to open it i, I don't have any bullets right now so that of course is going to be a problem i have to hit z to put a bullet in and then I have to hit R to close the cylinder. And you can aim down sight. Well, you have to aim down sights. So you can't just shoot. <laughs> never mind. I lied. You can just shoot. I've never tried to do that before. But uh, similarly, uh, I can't just replace that bullet. Because that's not how bullets work in a revolver. If you know, or if you've used a revolver, you use the pin to remove the bullets. Of course, I have to pick up the extra ones. Put in the new one and lock it away. Uh, this, where we are right now, is called the Compound. It is a fun place where you can um, basically practice using your gun. score and that's basically how this works um, this and I only need to put two bolts in um, but yeah that's how that's how this works uh, there are different challenges so that was big metal targets this is small metal targets uh, medium I haven't done medium actually wait 13 seconds Yep, there's one bad bullet in there. Alright, I'm embarrassed. That was terrible. Let's see if I can actually get... I, I thought that missed and I was embarrassed. We're going for a fast time here. I don't actually need all the bullets. Boom. 
Oh, and we unlocked a new gun. So there's a whole bunch of content in here that I haven't done uh, because this is a brand new update. Uh, it's a cool update. I really appreciate that they did it. Um, random. Shoot a series of randomly appearing targets as fast as you can. So this is going to be a little bit uh, more accurate. Short one. Oh, that was it. Oh, we were just barely. That is the goal time. All right. Well, that was embarrassing. That was a good start, too, is the thing. I'm annoyed. All right, I need to get more bolts. <laughs> So yeah, this, uh, this roguelike generally involves efficiently using your ammo, so you don't really get a lot of time to practice. So in this update, they added um, a whole bunch of new stuff in here to help you practice, basically. Get points for each component destroyed and extra points for each turret disabled. So that's interesting. Uh, it looks like we're actually going to have turrets. This is actually a great intro to the game episode. Okay, sorry. I. It wasn't miscounting, I just was thinking I'd have more time, and then I fat fingered a, a key. Why? Why do I keep doing that? So <laughs> we're hitting we're hitting a weird moment here. I keep hitting Z instead of um, I keep hitting Z instead of V to extract the cartridges. I'm making that mistake. Um, but yeah, these turrets that we're seeing are the enemies that are in the real world. And right now, I'm shooting the targets with the points. Oh, interesting. I wonder what it's actually limiting me on. Oh man, I got a really pretty, pretty high score. So yeah, we're, we're unlocking a whole bunch of new guns, which isn't really what my goal is here. Um, at least right now. Uh, but it is good practice. It is good aiming practice. But basically, all the time, we get to add our guns. We're unlocking new guns to use here. Um, which is good. It's good to have extra guns. And we're just gonna. We basically get to decorate this as much as we want. I don't. Are these the same? They look the same to me. So I think I've just unlocked an extra mag. For some of those guns. Obviously, we're getting some new guns in general. Uh, this, this is actually a, a rather interesting... Okay, that's all we unlocked. So I'm guessing that this... OK, 
Okay, those are the same. So yeah, we, we get to organize our, our little weapons just over here as much as we want. The other interesting part of this game, see, it tells you uh, what we've done. There's also a shooting range, um, but there's also just like puzzles. There's some really interesting puzzles. So we can listen to all the tapes that we've heard, which we, we haven't gotten to yet. Um, oh. And a whole bunch of extra tapes too, Jesus. Those have to be the basic tapes because I spent a lot of time in those early levels. Um, but yeah, basically within this complex, there's also a bunch of puzzles. And by a bunch of puzzles, I mean there are some puzzles, but I'm not entirely sure uh, if I've got them worked out. I actually have a thought about one of them. Um, and that is, we've been seeing some notes. Uh, these notes are, nope, not those, they're Alex. So they're these jams, and I don't actually know uh, what these mean. Um, on the furthest ledge, you will find this reward to find real enlightenment and a pretty view. Meditate on the roof. We found that one, and this is the final jam. So, not sure what these, these mean, these pairs of numbers. Um, I was thinking maybe they had to do with these. It's like, okay, do we hit two? Oh, weird. So we hit two once. There's what, two, one, three, three, four, two. Four and eight one. Nope. So yeah, I'm not sure what those puzzles mean just yet. Um, there was some fun. Whoopsie. Oh, look at that falling from heights. You can die in here. Not that it really hurts you that much. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff in the compound that you can mess with. That I did a whole bunch of not narrating last time. Um, I'll get to that in a second. So we've got like the massage spa, which of course, wonderful barbed wire. I actually haven't spent that much time down here. And that's mostly just because, oh, that's a singing bowl. Singing bowls are really cool. If you don't know what they are, uh, look them up, singing bowls. Anyway. Oh right, they're balloons. There are balloons spread throughout um, the area. I assume, that, I assume that I have to shoot them, uh, but we haven't gotten to that yet. So the whole shtick that at least I'm going with at this point is basically um, we're going to do runs, and if the runs fail or don't do well or something along those lines. Nice, actually, I actually haven't gotten in here before. Nope, can't mess with that. Uh, if we do that, then, and then things go poorly, and we die, and we've got some extra time, that's when I'm going to mess around here in the, in the compound. Um, and that, of course, being a yell. I didn't know I could do this. But I'm going to. Um, but yeah, that, that stuff that we're going to mess with is going to be afterwards. I don't know what that tape is, but we can go listen to it, I think. Yeah, th this this episode is going to be slightly unique. Code 3. Wait, where is that? Micah. Okay. So Mike has something to do with these as well. So yeah, there, there's some interesting stuff going on here. Some extra puzzle stuff. Oh, we could have gotten in here from normally, it looks like. Or from at least another location. Or this goes even further down than I thought. Oh my, where are we? I have no idea where we are right now. Okay, so this wasn't supposed to be 
and exploring the compound episode, but maybe that's just what I do here. Maybe that's just all I do for this episode. And now there are these notes with Alexified challenges. I think they're made for everyone, and they were made by the same person who left me that code. The hacking challenge was tough, but I did it, and it led me to a cool area in the attic. And guess what I found there? A hoop. Now I can finally practice with those balls. Okay, so there's a hacking challenge. Okay, bowling. Oh no. Is that the original receiver? It looks like it. What happens if I beat receiver? Nope, nope, nope. What happens if I... Well, wait, I should be able to open this now, right? Ah, well, here we go. Now we can get in here whenever we want. I assume that if I do this, it's gonna... Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna start up a game of the original receiver. Oh no. We need to get 11 tapes. Okay. There's no way in hell that this isn't a challenge we're supposed to complete. Wait. Why do I have a round chambered? Oh my god, it's been so long, guys. Is this really what the original looked like? I didn't think so. The big thing about the original receiver is that there were no difficulty levels like there are in this one. Am I really going to- is this really what the goal is going to be? <laughs> you had like look in bathtubs and stuff. Oh, that's right, there was no hacking, was there? Let's not give bullets. Dude, it's been so long. It's been legitimately so long since I played the original receiver. I'm not going to put a ton of effort into this one. I'm gonna kinda play a little fast and loose here. I forget if you got more enemies as you collected more tapes. So yeah, this is the original receiver. Which, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna die before I accidentally pick up 11 tapes. <laughs> yep. No mercy, per usual. I'm gonna accidentally get shot. I remember this is like some PTSD level stuff. You had to look for tapes. Like, really look for tapes. Yep, and you could go back through here. Man, I'm starting to remember some really old stuff, man. Drums all the way up there. All right. 
go up. I said, I'm playing this one fast and loose because I kind of want to die. I really don't want to be picking up 11 tapes. That's going to take so long. If they're not littered around here like candy. In the original, I think you only had to get like five? It was actually kind of ridiculous. By the way, what I did there was a terrible move, and I should not do that. We're doing fast, hard clears here. Haven't found a single tape, man. I mean, tapes could be in stupid places, don't get me wrong. Like, in the bathtub was actually a place. I think I already said that. But like, yeah. Tapes could be anywhere, and guns could be anywhere. You could have a gun sitting right, right next to the bathtub. Okay. I'm starting to believe that there are no tapes. It has to be a challenge to, to do this. You cannot convince me otherwise. I was like, did that thing explode? <laughs> Drones were always an issue. They always have been an issue. Drones are always difficult. Like we found a tape. You are listening to the first tape of the perpetual set. This set of tapes represents the most critical receivings so that future humans have the information they will need after the mind kill. This set, when listened to sufficiently and in its entirety, has been speculated to be the minimum teachings needed to achieve an awake state. Besides this tape, the tapes included in this set are Firearm Operation, Initiation oh Tape A, Mind Tech, Reality B, Mind Tech Clear Tape, Mind Kill Contingency, <laughs> Repeated Listening, The Clear Tape, Awake. Gotta get them bullets. Okay, so I'm playing Receiver 1 in an episode of Receiver 2, and it was originally going to be a compound episode, but it turns out that was not to be the case. I never thought I'd be doing this again. The drones also wander like a motherfucker in this game. <laughs> like, you could come down the stairs and have a drone, like, right there that you couldn't have possibly ever seen. Basically, you just would run around like a mad person. Also, I'm fairly certain that this game is not nearly as kind about letting you know where the tapes are. 
the current version of receiver, you know, lets you um, lets you know when you're close with the song. And that doesn't seem to be the case here. We're also, at one out of eleven. Jesus, I forget how many episodes it took. for me to beat the first receiver. It took a long time. I eventually did it, but I want to say it was only ever five tapes. Like, I feel like this is some crazy, insane challenge run that they've concocted. To be fair, I think I'm much better at the game now than I ever was before. Like... I think having to play the different levels. I'm not actually sure if you can shoot yourself in this one. Uh, if you can accidentally shoot yourself. I don't think I ever checked the chamber before. Like when playing this one, it feels like that's one of the things that I never did. But yeah, you really have to check every nook and cranny in this game. I think I'll be much better at disabling the drones. But I've already kind of lost my, my place. I don't think there are any sleeper turrets either. I don't even remember if you can accidentally kill yourself by falling too far. I assume that you can. I don't know if it just, I think it just outright kills you. I don't think it ever just like cripples you as a warning, which is an addition I like in the new version of the game. Tapes. Tapes, please. Got any more of them tapes? All right. Oh, hello. You're like right the hell there. Bullets. That is the other thing, is bullets. I forgot that turrets, killing turrets, giving you bullets is like a new thing. Music does give me a hint. And I've just forgotten. I don't know, generally going the way of the enemies would get you where you needed to go. Generally, that's, you know, a generalization for sure. Yeah, I loved this game. There's a reason why I, when they dropped Receiver 2, like, I want to say pretty darn secretively. Like, obviously their goal isn't secrecy. That has to be a piece of the drone. technology to control physical things. Similarly, there is mind tech, which is used to control the boundless luminescence. Mind tech can be used for good or evil. The threat has been it using can. its mind tech as a weapon against you, and so far has caused widespread sickness and mental weakness. Now that you are in a helpless state, they ready a crippling blow, mind kill. But they are aware that will not work on you. They have another potent weapon they will bring to bear against receivers, 
called the Dreaming. They cannot exist fully in this reality, but they have been watching you and experimenting and have Who's developed like? this new mind tech. The Dreaming will <laughs> bridge from our world to yours, and they will use this bridge to send specially conceived of weapons designed to work in your environment. These automatic weapons are designed to kill the few. <laughs> Taking a really long time to line up my shot because it's a long shot. That was really expensive. The sad part is we're coming back there, we're not even going there right now. Like, I really was hoping that the tapes would just be littering this place. Like candy, and it would just be kind of easy. But now I've gone from trying to figure out ciphers to playing the old version of the game. Bullets, please. I need bullets. I do appreciate that they added in the hacking as well. Once again, something that I forgot wasn't a thing in the original, because clearly I tried to do it here. Oh, is there really nothing else up here? Okay. Oh, well, there's a drone above us. I don't know if I ever considered this an option. I don't know if this ever was an option. Actually, no, I would believe that I'd done this. It's just been so long. I think those guys are too far away. Okay, I think if I fall from here, I die, so I, I don't think I can go forward. Which is unfortunate. So, if we want to go forward, we do have an option that I haven't pursued just yet, and that is jumping. That is not a jump I particularly want to trust, but it worked. Running out of bullets in this game was always an issue. I don't remember how much of an issue, mind you. But I feel like I've been looking everywhere because I've been looking everywhere for tapes and I feel like I would have found bullets. All right. bad when the drones come running at you. I don't really know how that saw me, but... Oh, we can go back 
this way. That's actually better, I think. Open, open air is always dangerous. Take your time to line up your shots. Save all the ammo you can. The biggest downside is just going to be that... We can't use sound cues. If you don't kill the turret. This turns out is really good incentive to kill the turret. Yep, check all the sinks, check all the bathtubs, check all the nooks and crannies. You do have to be wary of windows. They like in the second game. <laughs> Technically this game uh, can be shot. I have had a turret on the other side of one of these ones, I remember that, that was brutal. I really don't remember if there were sound cues for tapes or if I'm going crazy. But I'm definitely running low on bullets. I thought I saw the glint of copper. I think maybe because I've played, I don't want to say it's because I've played more FPS's, but I feel like playing Valorant, shit we've been here before, how do you know, because there's dead stuff. Yeah, 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 here's the problem, I am lost. Receiver 2. Oh, that actually automatically ducked. So Receiver 2 does some really nice things for you. Uh, mostly in that I feel like it creates itself in a manner that is arguably linear. Oh, that's right, you're up over there doing your own thing. So, panic. I don't know if it comes back. I think it will. I don't think it's dead, because I didn't kill it. Definitely still do stupid stuff like this. Once again, I don't know if those guys can see us, so I really don't want to take that risk. We want to try and approach them in a limited capacity, because when they've got a lot of time and distance to reach us, yes, we have more time to shoot them and more open air to do it, but leaving ourselves out in the open, we are at risk. Now, I definitely do not go this quickly through normal games of Receiver 2. That is mostly because of the positive regression system. If we die, we die, and we lose our two tapes, and that's okay. I mean, it's not what I want. I would like to complete this on our first try. That would be sick. Even though we only have two tapes, which implies that we're going to be here for five times as long as we've already been here. Yeah, I can't. 
can't fit through there. I didn't think I would, but... Alright. Okay, that whirring has to be above us, then. It has to be. Just based on the proximity. This room is the nightmare room because it's just it's so open. As I said, above us. I am very lucky, I probably should be dead. Oh, that's so many bullets. I'm sorry. What the? F is that fucking new? I do not recall there being a Gatling gun. Alright. So we gotta play this the stupid way. This is a better shot. There's so much I do not like about this room. I kind of want a hard pass on this room, actually. Because that's ridiculous. That is a ridiculous room, and it probably has a tape in it. Oh. We wrapped around, didn't we? Yep. Oh, it feels like this is the only way I can go. All right, so we go from in, we we go in from above. I know there's a drone right there, but I think that's our best plan of attack. I think I hit that, but I don't think I killed it. This can see me. Oh, it can. Okay. That was... Okay. I'm wiping my hands, because my hands are sweaty.
problem is that drone is the one that's going to get me killed. Because I'm not going to hear the other drone. I wanted to check and see. I'd, I'd rather... I'd rather kill the turret than just shoot the light. Your crude world is not the true reality. Your physical body here is the shadow cast by I your really transcendent mind. We call this higher plane Reality A. In your world of shadows, Reality B. If you are receiving this message in a fictional context, you are at an even deeper level, one that we cannot reach. Because your body is a shadow of your mind, when your mind dies, your body will vanish. In the normal order of your world, death is merely a transition in which your mind is set free. But for victims back. of the coming mind kill, there is only oblivion. I want to go back down this stairwell into hell. The one that's over here. Luckily, that thing can't get me. However, it doesn't mean it. Basically, it's just it's just a false. Uh, I don't want to say false flag because that's not accurate. Um, it's a. It's going to make me think that I've been spotted when I haven't. Like 
three drones in there. I run to the other room, I think, if I get spotted. Drawing one out may not. That was weirdly close. All right, because it's above me. Because it's in this room. Can I take advantage of this from above? I think I can. We're at three tapes out of 11 people. It's worth noting that I don't have to kill everything. I don't, there wasn't a tape down there, so maybe I just ignore it. Uh, so many dead turrets worrying. Hello, fucking turret. What the hell noise is that? There might be like three up there, Jesus. All right, you're still trying to spin. All right, I th oh no, this is a crossfire room. I remember these. missing that shot. Well, I've got the count of our bullets. I think that's just... Shade. That's what we've been hearing. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, no tape, sadly, but... So that's five. We have 11 bullets now. Eleven bolts and eight tapes to go. Let's go. This is just a gauntlet. This is just a gauntlet. This is gonna be a two hour long episode. Fuck me. Um. Frack. Ooh. 
I almost passed up on five bullets. Damn. All right, so here's our problem. I don't think we can do anything clever, can we? That's what I'm talking about when I talk about like trying to find tapes. Yeah, I don't think we can clear any extra distance. Yes, that's a waste. Yes, it was necessary. Oh, Jesus. Game. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So, yeah, the way you run in this game is by rapidly tapping W, and I don't think... There's a toggle. Oh, it's a hold sprint key? Oh, no, toggle sprint key. Okay, but tapping it... Oh! Okay, it doesn't matter. I don't want to do that. If I do that, things will go very poorly for me. <gasps> Game! exactly as many as we fired okay so i'm annoyed um because i tapped like i jumped and i tapped to step onto the ledge and it took that as a run so i jumped off the edge uh but that is um it's not <laughs> all right so so uh, long story short um i will have to come back and play that at some point i don't think it's going to be a high priority but that is the original receiver for those of you who never watched original receiver if you want to see me be absolutely bad at it um you can do that uh it's not even hard actually um you just need to go back into my youtube channel from way back when and it will tell you exactly what's up you, you can find it and it'll just be like, yeah, you're bad. Like, you're... So yeah, that's, that's loading a new challenge into the computer. So yeah, that could have been a really long episode, except I, I, that, like, legitimately that was an accident. Realities A, B, and C all coexist simultaneously with their own rules and truths. A single concept crosses each reality, shining from reality A like a shaft of light, illuminating different patches of realities B and C. The light is the same, but what you see with it depends on where you look. Because the higher dimensional objects of reality A cannot be fully expressed in reality C, and even less so in C must understand that a single idea must be explained in multiple, sometimes contradictory, ways to understand it. This is mind tech threading. In our world of shadows, reality B, advanced receivers may hear a voice. Oh no. In our world of shadows, reality B, advanced receivers may hear a voice. If you are unattuned or at a deeper level, you will hear the same voice, but without words, the feeling of knowledge from outside of yourself. Those compromised by the threat become utterly convinced that implanted thoughts and ideas are their own. The 
the receiver understands the opposite. Your mind tech is built from existing ideas. Where these ideas come from, and if they are safe to use, must be ascertained. Once you become familiar with the process of watching the flow of ideas moving around you from one place to another, you will learn to recognize those thoughts that seem to have no obvious origin. Scrutinize these thoughts. So th this game never fails to make it interesting. Where did I drop that? No, seriously. Oh, I put it into my I'm dumb. I'm not telling you I'm going balloon hunting. But we're already an hour into this episode. You gotta chamber around before you can do shit. I don't know if there's a achievement for murdering all the balloons, but I'm gonna frickin' try. this before. It would be nice to have a flashlight. Let's just see what it is. Alexified Challenge 3. The aircon unit hides a surprise. Yeah, I think I already have been there, right? Thought I had anyway. I assume that I have a flashlight. Oh. Fair. I see. Oh, one shot remaining. Okay, um, not what I was actually intending to do, but... Yep. All right, well, we'll wait. And so I'm no longer hobbling.
I think I need to immediately jump again. Actually, can I just... No, can't just make that. Almost, but not quite. Jam one. Okay, so we're finding these things. Start writing down the best jams. Four, two, five, three, ten, one, eleven, two. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I don't know off the top of my head where that is, but reality C. I can only assume that this is reality C. Let's go find out. I just I really don't know what the jams are, and that's what's gonna bug me. Unless those are coordinates. some time here you have become awake in reality B but you exist at a deeper level reality C once you have this realization you may feel that reality B is somehow less real than your physical reality this is an inversion of values caused by the threat the threat is almost totally unable to act on your physical reality but has done incredible damage to reality C by contaminating and controlling reality B this damage has blocked and distorted the higher dimensional light of reality A. This is proof that reality C is a lower order than reality B. Even now that you are a true initiate, it is almost inevitable that you will falter and become lost. The mind kill has already taken place in reality B. The possibility of awakening in reality C before the mind kill reaches you has only the faintest sliver of a chance. Our only chance. putting that in one of these. Okay, it just puts it in the right place. I wonder if this So that resets stuff, which is cool and all, but what are those numbers all about? What do I do? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's one? That's not it. So yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here, is basically. Oh, that's the vent in there. I see, that's the vent where we were. So yeah, there's something somewhere about how a lot of this stuff works, and I just haven't figured it out yet. Which is okay. I think that's going to be part of the fun, basically, of having the compound around. Because there's clearly more things here than meet the eye, right? And that's good. 
At least I think that's good. Cool, we have a flashlight now. Have we always had this flashlight? Right, the sensory deprivation chamber is how we actually enter runs. I mean, you can manually enter runs, I believe, but... Okay, I want to go into the conference room. Right, we want to shoot those from above. I've died trying to escape from this place. Voice do I get it now. I finally grok the true purpose of the mall. Interesting. Yes, this place is great for gun training, but really it's smarter than that. It's for receivers who are stuck in a groove, who need a safe place to recover and get back in the game. I think all the little mysteries and secrets and puzzles in this place teach you new mind tech in their own weird way. You know, like brain training, like hiding a dog's treats to keep the pooch's mind engaged, or like how puzzles for old folks stoops stops them from getting dementia. And it works. I feel sharper than I have in ages. That's a very good point you've just made. Because honestly, uh, I've been very much enjoying this game. But it does have its moments. They're so far away. The gun is shaking. And it bugs me when it is. I feel like I can't actually shoot those balloons. Like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to shoot that balloon. Alright, we did find the basketball hoops. I don't think there's a basketball in here, though. Feels weird that I can hear water. Have I not made it in there? It's very interesting sometimes, because it seems very clear that there's a puzzle in a lot of this. Ow. Oh, I bet you, I bet you I actually did need to fall down in that one area. Oh, right. fun little way to maybe relieve some stress. Where were those balloons? Just 
come out here and shoot cans. Like, that's... Seriously though, where, where were those balloons? Oh, they're there. Jesus, what a shot though. I actually lost where they were for a second there. I feel like those balloons respawn, and that's not actually the important part. I think it's just supposed to be trying to line up long shots. I don't know if there's a puzzle associated with them. But I am... back through here. Because I think that's one way we can drop, but the other way to drop was over here and we didn't do this. But I think this is how we get into that one other place. No. Wait, but this is... Oh, that's the blue door. Oh, it's a hacking puzzle. It's a hacking puzzle. Holy banana sandwich, Batman. I'm not going to get this one, but... I'll be a lot closer next time. This is so sensitive. So for reference, I have the button to do this on my mouse. It's one of my side buttons. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I think the key is I need to not actually have my mouse on the key or on the table. Need to be able to very delicately. Nail that. Okay. Found the boardroom today. There was a key card right there on the table. Nice. I felt so nostalgic about my old foreign accounts that I stood there and, ra and rattled off a whole promising investments presentation like I was standing in front of the directors. Still remembered the numbers and data and currencies and portfolio names and all that. I could, I use, actually used to think financial spreadsheets were cool. Something is clearly wrong with me because I kind of miss it. I cracked it. I know how to make the giant head sing. Okay. Okay. These, these have to do with the final, like, absolutely must. All right, so. Good to know. But basically, uh, I think where we're going to stop here is I'm going to try one last time to get this head to sing. So you're like, all oh right, because I can press this button. There's the plate I'm Eow. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at jam number one. Four, two, five, three, ten, one, eleven, two. Four, two. Five. Three. Where's five? There it is. Five, three. Right, I can't actually do anything. Uh, I just reload it. Don't mind me, I'm shooting things that I don't need to shoot. Uh, it was 10, 1, 11, 2, right? Yes. 10, 1, 11, 2. So I'm not going to play this tape. I'm just going to put it right here. We'll listen to it next time. Um, this episode has already gone way longer than I initially intended. That's okay. I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, we played some old school receiver, which reminded me how hella difficult it was. Even though I still think compared to this game, it is easier. Um, I don't even know how expensive it is. I'm actually going to go check. Uh, Steam store page, please. I would like to see receiver two. I want to see how expensive uh, it actually is. Or sorry, receiver one. I want to see what receiver one is um, because if you haven't played it, honestly, it, like if you're not sold on it, receiver one is five dollars right now, and I'm sure it'll go on sale for less at some point. Receiver two is still twenty, um, not counting sales. But my point is, if you think that this game looks fun but you don't quite want to drop 20 bucks on it, give Receiver 1 a go. Um, if you like it, you will like this game. If you don't like it, you probably won't like this game. I think this game is deeper. I think there's more stuff here. Um, I'm just hoping that the algorithm threw this at a whole bunch of people and they enjoyed an hour, almost an hour and a half of me randomly messing around and doing stuff and breaking my legs. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I enjoyed recording it quite a bit. Um, it is later in the night than it should be, but uh, I kind of needed a distraction, so this was a great way to do it, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. And because I didn't actually do a, a real run of Receiver 2, uh, it was a little bit less stressful, but I think that's exactly what that one note was getting into, is sometimes you just need to take a little bit of a break, and I still got to play a fun game without, uh, without feeling like I was under too much pressure. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time as I take a seat here. But until then, keep your gears turning.